Hey guys, welcome to tonight's Big Brother Canada 7 chat. It's episode 21 and I feel like I've just been through a trauma. Happy Easter. <laughs> Alright, so last time Corey was evicted and Anthony was upset. Corey was his girl and she got evicted. His mommy on the show. He's in a bad mood. Stay away from me. Everyone's yeah. whispering, making alliances. Well, Kira's going around the house being like, oh, Anthony's so upset. Did you see how upset he is? Is she tickling wrists? I don't know. <laughs> All right. Um, is that Kira's thing or Estee's thing? I think that's more Estee's thing. I think that can be applied to just about anybody in the house, according to Anthony. So. No, but Anthony is not having it right now. Any little thing is going to set him off. All right, so let's go back to the HOH comp in progress. It is called Shop or Ship Till You Drop. I love and this. I think this is so much fun. I thought it was a great one because it was kind of a cross between a Survivor Challenge and a Big Brother Challenge. So the boxes are coming down the conveyor belt, and you kind have of had to... an I Love Lucy vibe as well. Yes, <laughs> when they made the bread and it came out of the oven, and they went. Whoosh, Against but the also wall. The Sorry, I just stepped on my dog. Oh! No. But Sorry, also the girl. conveyor belt. Right. The chocolate episode. Wow, so many levels. I know! Alright, so uh, Kira's kind of a T-Rex because her arms are really short. Or her, their arms are really short. Sorry. Yeah, this really, I think, helped to be a little bit lankier. So, like, Short people were at a disadvantage, yeah. Dane. Um, yeah. Because, <laughs> I mean, each time a box came out, you had to add it to your stack, and you're, like, pushing it up, up against the wall to make sure that none of them fall. So, it was challenging. It was interesting. I hope when we're not done filming that it's a swimming pool of pee in there. No! Ah! Okay, anyway. Um, we have a puppy. There were a lot of different little incentives to add more boxes to your lineup that you didn't necessarily have to do. Mm -hmm. Our stream tonight was, like, really... It was a really poor connection, so it kept cutting out. But I think I heard something about, um, like, a letter from home if you added another box. Well, or... there was also a have a uh, box. Mm -hmm. If you didn't take that one, you were going to be have not for the week. There was a mystery box. Well, wait, so Essie took that one, and Mark was already um, safe. Right. Because he was the outgoing HOH. So right. everybody else, you're going to be have nots, except, except for whoever for wins. Except HOH. Yeah. Uh, there was also pizza coming down the conveyor belt that Anthony missed out on, even though Couple pizza people is did. like his favorite food in the world that he hates now. Well, behind poutine. How sad was it to watch those pizzas hit the ground? That was, oh my god, it made me want to cry. Um, Esty was out first. She just couldn't do it anymore. Mm -hmm. Not surprising. Small Dane was out next. Yeah. He was too small. He, he just couldn't, uh, he kept trying to, like, kick up the, uh... <laughs> yeah. It just wasn't happening. No. Uh, Kira was out next. Of course my boxes aren't straight. <laughs> I'm non-binary. We oh. know! <laughs> yeah. And then, uh, Damien, shortly after. After his, Kira, yeah. His was making, like, an arch. Mm hmm That was probably a good idea, but... Well, it came down to Adam and Anthony. And Anthony is like, yo, let's make a deal. But he didn't wear a costume, so... He said, let's make a deal. You lose. Yeah. But, I mean, he was offering up some things like, you'll be safe. Uh, one person that you choose will be safe. I have to see my mommy. Now, do you think this was just like a for show thing and the one person that he could choose to be safe would have been one of the pretty boys or do you think he could have picked Kira and then there wouldn't be very many options there you know as yeah. and Damien to go up on the block hmm I don't know I, I think it was for real mm -hmm. um I don't know if Anthony would have honored it you think Anthony would turn on the pretty boys given the chance Maybe. He might. I don't know. It's getting down to it here. I mean, I don't think he would have um, gotten rid of Adam, but I don't think he would have um, kept the, other person, kept the other person safe. All right. Well, anyway, it didn't matter because Adam was not taking that deal. No. So He already got screwed over when Corey took Sam out. Your girl took my girl out. Yeah. So he's not going to let that happen again. So Anthony dropped his boxes, and then Adam dropped his. So, yeah, so Adam, Adam is the HOH. Mm -hmm. And Anthony was super pissed. 
he went into the house and he was throwing shit around and he was expecting Adam to throw it to him. He said, I'm going to have a conversation with everyone. Specifically, SC and Kira. Mm -hmm. Because he wants to make sure that they're not spreading non-truths about him. Alright, so... But can, it wasn't it ridiculous that he expected Adam to throw that to him and he was all whiny about it when he Yeah, didn't? he was pissed that Adam didn't drop his boxes after Dane. Because this was not the one for him to win. Jeez. What is that supposed to mean? Is it because um, he wants Adam to be able to play in the double? I don't know. So that it would be a guaranteed win for the pretty boys? Maybe. Because he can't win sh unless somebody throws it to him, right? Yeah. Well, after that was all said and done, there was a lot of tension between Anthony and Kira. So Anthony sat down with Kira. Kira? And was, <laughs> and was a whisper douche. He was like, I'm going to whisper. That was so douchey of him to do that. So Adam was there as well, uh, witnessing the douchery, but doing nothing about it. He would jump in every once in a while, but yeah. Anthony was like, Kira, you're the biggest liar in the house, blah, 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 you're weak. And Kira actually made some really good points calling mm -hmm. Anthony out on his game, saying, you're allied with the strong people, and then you try to like mentor the weak. Mm -hmm. And then uh, Anthony was like, you're weak, you're a weak player. Jeez. He does not have a very nice strategy. I I don't know how it's working other than he I feel like he's bullying people. He's definitely been a mastermind this season, you have to admit it, but I don't like the way he makes it personal. Like mm -hmm. the way he tries to humiliate people. That's just yeah. it's sad. It is sad. And mean. Hurt people hurt people. Exactly. Alright, so uh, he also is doing it for revenge because he thinks that Kira has disrespected Corey. Ugh. And then he's schooling Kira on the game. He mm -hmm. said he's never touched the block because he's never said anything incriminating. And Bowie disagrees with he Anthony. Said, That's bull. Yeah. So... He was really douchey, Baby. too. He was like, Kira. Yeah. I would have been like, fart to knee. <laughs> fart to knee. <laughs> All right. Um, let's see Adam's HOH room. Okay. He got some fly sketches. Mm -hmm. And he got a video message from his very young looking mom. It was so cute. She looked good. And he was crying. Mommy. Mm-hmm. And he's taking Dane to Wendy's. Because they're besties. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't everyone in the house see this by now? Come on, guys. Wake up. Wake up. Dane is in Leon's lounge. Mm-hmm. And all the screens go uh, to Leon's. And Marsha the Moose pipes up. What? We've been waiting for this all season. One of Marsha the Moose's teeth is blacked in. So it looks like... She's missing a tooth. Yeah. And Trevor Boris <laughs> he says, Oh, stop farting in here. You're ruining all of the painting. Ew. Let's do a task, Dane. Uh you have three things to do and then all the house will get food and drink. A nice party. Well, they all involve his fake teeth, and this task was disgusting. I'm sorry, I love Marshall the Moose and I love when they give them secret tasks, but this was gross. It really was nasty. The first part of it was that he had to uh, put his teeth in somebody's drink. The second part was that he had to get somebody else to put his teeth in their oh, mouth. Oh, gross. And the third one was a cookie baking task and pretend that his teeth were crunched up in the batter. So he, uh, first victim was Kira. They were outside on the outside area, and he dropped his teeth into her tea, and she drank it with the teeth in there. She was like, what is this metal in here? That's disgusting. Yeah. And then <laughs> he got Esty to put them in. That looked Which hilarious. Which I think was even worse, because she knowingly did it. Yeah. Gross. But it was funny when she had the two little teeth there. It was funny, but it was gross. It reminded me of uh, Bette Midler's Witch and Hocus Pocus. Yeah. 
was pretty funny. Remember, we remember. Exactly. <laughs> oh, look, somebody's going <gasps> on the going pad. You're going on the pee pee pad, good boy. <laughs> I knew it would happen one day. <laughs> All right, um, and then they made cookies, and Esty wanted to know, or was it Kira, wanted to know, did you use crunchy peanut butter? Well, because he's like, does anybody see my teeth? They're not in here, are they? Uh, they weren't, but he was pretending. So that was not that fun. So then he Well, went, it was mission accomplished. He went back to Marsha the Moose and made out with a porcelain moose <laughs> with a magic markered in tooth. Yeah. Well, that means that the entire house is going to get treated to food and drink. They had a nice meal. Mm -hmm. They had, But Anthony, do not wear your sunglasses in the house. That is pretentious. All right. Well, who's ready for some more food? It's Wendy's time. Well, Adam and Dane are, and they ate an S-ton of freaking food. Oh, my God. That was a lot of food. Bite that burger. Yep. Product placement. Uh, Olivia was the server. Yeah. Ding dong. Ding, Ding dong. dong. I think oh. we're both only supposed to say one. Ding dong. <laughs> we would never be in that alliance. I will never forget Olivia hosting the post-party power veto competition. Or was it HOH? I can't remember. I don't know. Whatever. But it was hilarious, and I love that. All right, so Anthony thinks for nominations that Kira and Esty should be going up on the block. Mm -hmm. And Adam does not want to nominate Kira. He does not. Because he, he knows, promised Sam. He knows that he's got Kira's trust. Mm -hmm. So it really does not benefit his game to put them up on the block. Well, also, he doesn't want to lose Kira because she is the GOAT for the Final Five. Yeah. I mean, I think it's pretty safe to say that most people would have a pretty good chance of beating Kira in the Final Two. Unless you, like, really freaking suck. Unless the no jur offense. jury was so bitter. Yeah. All right, so Adam wants to put up Mark. Adam's pretty pissed that Mark put him up on the block when he was HOH, and mm -hmm. he's not going to just let that go. Mark obviously does not want to go up because Mark doesn't want to do shit. Mm -hmm. So isn't it your storyline, man? Yeah, right? What's in your storyline? <laughs> So then Adam is talking to Kira, and she, they are coming up with some really good points, and he doesn't know what to say. So he's like, um, let's have Anthony come in here and talk. And Kira's like, why? why? Why are we bringing Anthony into this? Come on, read because between the lines. Adam needs a hand going up his ass, reaching up to move his mouth because he doesn't know what to say because he's dumb. Ugh. So then the pretty boys realize they need to like really make some moves here. So they hold this house meeting with everyone except for Mark. How lame was that? And they're like, look, we need to put him up this week, but we're going to backdoor him. So that's what the plan is. Get with it. Yeah. Um, that's for fake. Yeah. The that's real target, fake. unfortunately, is Damien. Right. But they want everyone that's still trying to keep this charade up of no pretty boys. Mm -hmm. So it's time for the nominations. And he's trying to pull off this, I'm not working with the boys thing, but I'm working with the boys thing. Uh, because the nominations were freaking Esty and Damien. Mm hmm And you, uh, no, the, <coughs> God bless. The numbers are little. <laughs> They're little. There's little choices. Um, and I promised Anthony safety, because he was down to the two in the HOH. Mm hmm And he promised Sam that he would keep Kira safe. Jeez. I know. And neither of you guys on the block are the target. Wink. Uh, he's trying to make them believe that Mark is going to be the backdoor target. That's a lie. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Maury. So, that's where we're at. Yeah. <laughs> okay, cool. Hope everybody had a great Easter. Let us know what you thought of this episode in the comments. And until next time, much, much love. love.